Saturday morning, I was asleep. I was sleeping in. Just kind of like lazily getting ready. I was FaceTiming a friend of mine. All of a sudden, everybody's phone went off. Incoming ballistic missile threat inbound. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. I don't, I, I don't see anybody. I don't hear anything. We're going back in the closet. I, I just, I, I was in a sense of disbelief. And then people just started running, running really fast. Put them in the bathtub and told them to say their prayers. The fear became anger. They wanted it to just disappear. There's conjecture that it was intentional. Like, this is the sickest joke to ever play on a state, on a people. There's a whole state that thought they were going to die. The missile alert was like pulling the curtain aside. This trend of increasing military might started way before the missile crisis and is continuing way afterwards. So the only way that they can do it and justify that is to build up this boogeyman, this terror, this fear. Um, and this is happening in a global way. I wouldn't have believed it so hard if it wasn't the time that we are in now. Why are we in this situation? What brought us to this point um, in, a, in the human timeline where something like this could happen? And whose fault really is that? You might see a tragedy on the news and uh, you see it, you chew on it for a little while and you say, that, oh God, that's terrible. And then you just go on. Hello, we almost got bombed over here. Like we need to talk about it. <laughs> you can't forget and move on. You need to learn, adapt, implement new policy. We have to massively and radically transform. And in the process, we have to have the courage to love our peoples and lands enough to believe in a future in which we will not be destroyed.